Welcome back to another episode of It's In The Details, The Big Brother Edition. I am Damien. And I'm Roger. And we need to get started. Uh, remember how I was all excited last week about uh, the show, the episodes we got to talk about? Yes. yes. I, don't have, I don't have the same passion for no. this week. <laughs> no. This was the dot of a week, man. <laughs> dot of a week. Like everything went down, and we'll talk about it. Everything went down the most boring way possible, from noms to POV <laughs> to uh, what happened with the POV to like who got evicted. Like it was just yep. like the most boring ass. Like there was barely any drama in the house either. Like, and yeah. it's like it's like they knew it, so they they spiced up the wild card competition reward. Um. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, but but the rest. I of the actually week, forgot that that happened. Well, we're gonna get. I into actually, it. you just reminded me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get into yeah. it. Um, so immediately they hit us with one parting shot for Brent, uh, with a clip of him saying, "My strategy is amazing." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I, I love that. I it love was so that. great. It was so great. Uh, so so good. Christian wins head of household and. This is the first week. It took to, took until week four where people were like, not sure they were safe. Most of the right. house was like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then uh, we find Everyone out very- Everyone's getting antsy, right? We're getting close yes. to ju- the jury line yeah. where like money is, a, is an issue. Yeah. So um, is a factor. So yeah, people are getting like, oh, I don't know where I stand. And Yeah, exactly. So Christian's the head of the household, and we find out immediately that Alyssa is doing all the thinking, (laughs) the thinking for that pair. Uh, Not a big surprise. And then we got Alyssa and Sarah Beth lobbying hard for Hannah. Hard. Yeah, hard. How uncomfortable uncomfortable did that make you? Because it was making me real uncomfortable. Too, Too hard. Yeah, because right now is that point where like, like you got, you can't make mistakes. Like it could cost you. And like, she, I think Sarah Beth was pushing a little bit too hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't think she was uh, very self-aware of how she was coming off, uh, being so aggressive in one way. Yeah. Um, but we'll, yeah, we'll see if that gets her in trouble. Yeah. But it was a little too hard. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. She she was talking like a person who felt safe in the room. Like she trusted the people she was in the room with her, her team. Yes. And then the Royal flush later on, then we flash forward to the wild card. Uh, They got the wild card song. Come on. Some big, some big ass rock song. Everybody's rocking out. And Derek F is just chilling. (laughs) He's just chilling. One of the nomination chairs with his glasses on leaning on a pillow does not care. Everybody else having a great time. Um, So then we find out Claire, Whitney and Aza are picked for the wild card. The wild card is this competition where they got to roll a ball down a cocktail glass and get it into the, the finish line. Claire wins it and the prize comes down. So she can either pick safety for her entire team for one week, including herself, or safety normal, until jury. The normal. Yeah. For or safety herself. For herself. And stuff only. Yes. And they're hit. And they cut to they cut to the teammates like like what is she gonna do? Yeah. Like, like guys, choose us. Guys. guys. I mean she had to choose that, man. Yes. She had to. Like, yeah. I was, I was gonna ask you what would you do, but I feel like everyone would choose, like this is a no-brainer. Yeah. It's a guaranteed to jury the most like Probably the number one objective of any Big Brother player starting a season is to make jury so you can, you know, money. Yeah. Um, but um, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. How much money do the jury members get? Well, they still get the same amount, like so this, the weekly stipend. But now that they've made it to jury, they're guaranteed to make it all the way to the end of the show, regardless if they get voted out or not, because they get done to jury. Wait, 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 wait. So wait. it's a guaranteed certain amount of money all the way to the end. What's the Whereas, weekly? like, it's, I don't know, I've heard different numbers, but, like, I have, like, 1,500 U.S. Okay. a week. Okay. The long, like, yeah. Okay. So, like, uh, once you get to, like, that point, like, you're guaranteed 1,500 for, like, all the way till finale, right? Right, so, right. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not terrible. Um, no. So they're hemming and hawing about what she's going to pick, what she's going to pick. She picks it like she should. Uh, it, it's only going to end up being two or three weeks of safety, but nonetheless. Right. Uh, yeah. It's what you need. It's a guarantee. Yeah, it's what you yeah. need. Um, yeah. Tiffany took it really well. Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany was singing and yeah. dancing for Claire. Then we got uh, more Sarah Beth lobbying for Hannah. She's lobbying now it with continues. the yeah with the entire royal flush. Um, was Derek? I can't remember if Derek was in that room, but he, she's lobbying, and we got Tiffany rebutting her. There were I know that there were people that also were not in her alliance in that room, and she was pushing for Hannah, and I was like, uh, oh, okay, like not I everyone in here is in your alliance, like. Pushing, she was being overly aggressively pushing Hannah for yeah. some reason. Yeah, and and Tiffany comes back with, you know who I'm scared of, and we all should be scared of, Brittany. <laughs> 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 she's like Brittany would come after our guys. Aww, queen. Yeah, exactly. And she's like, she's already been up. It's not a big deal. So then we flash forward. Christian is pretty much decided it's going to be Whitney and Hannah. He wants to talk to Hannah first, and let her let her know what he's thinking you're going to be the pawn right. and right. hannah is out here showing how smart she is she is so good at this game almost too good is what she gave christian in her pitch and i was like christian should be impressed and terrified like you think he's smart enough though i mean you're giving a little, giving him a little bit too much credit, I think. I, I, <laughs> I know. he's the kind of guy that could be getting attacked by a grizzly bear and w wouldn't know. I think, like, oh, it's just a little doggy. Like, no man, the fucking grizzly bear, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, but I thought her pitch was strong. Uh, maybe I'm just overly enamored with Hannah and her game, but I thought her pitch was strong. Yeah, I love Hannah. Yeah. The Hannah and Derek X showman says now come to the forefront for me. They're, they're the two that I'm rooting for. I like their relationship. I like the way they're, they're playing the game, how they set themselves up. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they'll win, but like, yeah, those are the two I think now that I'm pushing for. Yeah. And, and Tiffany, I like yeah. her strategic. Those are the, th those are my, like, yeah, those are my people that I'm pushing the rest of the season. Right. And as we move to the end of the week, the noms are Whitney and Hannah. And Christian says his noms are based on what's best for the Kings. Uh, right. You know, the Kings aren't going to be around forever, dude. Right? Like I get why you're saying it, but also. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, yeah. So then, then we move to episode two. We move to the veto episode and we've got, Christian, I'm skipping ahead a little bit because like I said, there was only okay. so much going on. We've got Brittany and somebody else in the pool. Christian comes out and he's in the backyard doing backflips. Okay? <laughs> Backflipping for no reason, right? Yeah, and, yeah, I remember this. And Brittany goes, I have a curiosity question for you. Uh, can you do a burpee into a backflip? And Christian's like, I don't know. I've never tried one before. And my man bangs out six. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say they needed six of them. Like, this is what I was talking about. I don't think this guy knows if he was being, if he was being attacked by a grizzly bear. Like, he's, like, so out of tune. Like, I just don't think he's smart enough. That's basically, yeah. like, there's, yeah. there's no, there are no lights are on up there. Yeah. Uh, he's on cruise control, and Alyssa is, like, driving that car. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm watching. But yeah, he, yeah, he, that guy needs to be constantly babysit if, uh, if Alyssa wants to win the game, <laughs> she's got to be more careful what this guy's doing because, yeah, he's making himself like a, such a huge target. Enormous. Like, stop. Yeah. Stop doing six burpees. Like backflip burpees. I'm looking at Christian. Burpees, yeah. I'm looking at Christian. Like you're on the wrong television show. Either you should be at the Olympics right now or you should be at Cirque du Soleil. We move ahead. We've got Aza displaying all of her emotional tendencies that she cannot manage in this house because she is stink eyeing Whitney as Whitney is uncomfortably massaging <laughs> Xavier's hands in front of everybody. And then takes him aside and says, 
I got a middle school crush on you. Yeah. What is going on right now? <laughs> I've never seen this technique used before. Like, this technique. I have a crush on you. <laughs> like, what? Like, what do you think? Oh, man. What do you think is going to happen from the? Oh, my God. Uh, so, remember a couple Big Brother Canada seasons ago, I think it was Big yeah. Anthony. I think it was Anthony, the guy, yeah, the big, yeah. huge black guy. I think he said yeah. to somebody that he's got a little like middle school crush on them or something like that. But it was, if it was him, but it, it happened recently. Sure. It was so sure. playful where it was like, yeah. this is not, you don't have anything to be worried about here. <laughs> like, I'm just letting she you know. Fo she followed it up with also like, I'm kind of jealous. Yes. And it's like, oh, hit the brakes. Yes. Like, what? <laughs> we got a stage five clinger already. Like, yes. Yeah, it's she's not built for this game. Like she reminds me of some people I know in real life, and that it's <laughs> they're too emotional. Like you can't be as emotional. You can't be this emotional in Big Brother. Yeah. Because like, watch, she's gonna get she's gonna get on jury, and she, they're gonna get uh, into the game, and like she's gonna be betrayed by someone in her um, cookout cookout alliance. Yeah. And she's gonna take it personal. Yep. She's going to, she, she's going to, she's, she's also the type of person that gets on jury and gets wronged and then makes like taints the jury for that person. Yes. Because they're so emotional and they don't, like, they don't see it as a game. They see it more as like a, they got slighted and, and I get it. Like, I'm like that. I'm kind of like that too. Like, I take some things personal, but like, yeah, I don't know if she's made for Big Brother. Yeah. And I think we'll find that out moving forward yeah she's, she's way too emotional she's smart like she's definitely smart she's but, smart but, but she can't yeah. handle the ins and outs of this game so far the veto picks come down and we've got claire we've got aza and we've got a house guest choice by hannah picking Derek x mm. I, i'm mm. excited i don't know if you're excited but i'm excited um i mean yeah uh, yeah I was actually a little bit like, it's just yeah. kind of like showing their cards a bit, but she, she wants to win. So like, I get it. Like she, yeah. she needs to be off the block. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So we get this uh, definitely rooting for those two. Yeah. We get this yeah. classic, another classic endurance veto where uh, we're rolling a ball over a peak and you got to run side to side to catch it. Classic big brother. Classic. Yeah, classic big brother challenge. Yeah. Tell you who this game is not for. This game is not for Whitney. <laughs> this game is not for Claire. <laughs> and at one point, Aza dives for her ball and hits the ground. And I don't think Aza is ever getting up again. She hit that ground. <laughs> she hit that ground like somebody dropped her out of a plane, dog. <laughs> they dropped her out of the challenge because I don't remember seeing her after that. <laughs> yes. Yes. But we've got Christian winning. Derek X finally loses. And we head inside the house. People start chit-chatting in their little rooms. There's a room with a gang of people, a whole bunch of people. And Whitney overhears Derek X talking about what's going to happen next week when she's gone. I, and I, I, I remember last week I said, those two got to be careful what they say because it happened again. Yeah. She fucking overheard it. Like, yeah. just like last week with Brent. Like, what are you... What is this guy doing? Like, yeah. he talks way too loud. Like, yes. he's not, yeah, bad. It's yes. bad. It's bad. Whitney throws a fit. She leaves the room. And what yeah. I write, what I write down to myself is, hey, Whitney, you got some information now. You could, you could make some moves. Do you remember who else was in that room, Whitney? <laughs> because whoever he's talking to also knows you're going home. Right. So right. you got a chance to take stock of all these people working against you and you don't do it. I don't think she knows. And she, I think she proves it later on uh, at the end of the eviction episode that she has no idea what's going on. Um, right. But she heads to Christian. She, she shares the information she's got. She gives him a garbage pitch. It was terrible. The veto is surprise, surprise, not used. Nam stay the right. same. And we started. This is the why this week was so boring. Like yeah. it was just such a cookie cutter, like nothing happened with the veto, like the, the HOH, but by the way, do you think it's bad for an HOH to win 
the H O H and the the veto. Like, like, dude, like, you, Christian is like such a target, making himself such a target, and yeah. like, oh. Anyway, and there's nothing worse than a target with no brains, because right. he does not seem equipped to handle himself in right. any sort of mental situation. Um, but we'll, we'll see. But we start- Christian is lining himself up really easily to get backdoored. Yes, he's the, he's a primary backdoor candidate because like right. he won't see it coming, and right. like if, and he's not in the POV. He's uh, like he's, if he's in a POV, he's gonna win it. So like if he's not in one, you know, like you can finally like actually get him. So I think you gotta I think you gotta backdoor that kind of guy and like just trick him because it's so easy to trick him. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, no, you're good, man. No. Jealous. You're jealous. <laughs> yeah. No, no, God, no. No, not he, at all. He, I think if I'm it's more physical. more jealous of Derek X. <laughs> <laughs> I think if it's physical, I don't know that anybody beats Christian. But if it's, right. if it's anything else, I think they can get him. Um, right. So the episode starts. We find out, like I said, I think week one, three, four weeks of this team garbage, and then we're breaking mm-hmm. it up, right? So it lasts for four weeks, right. we find that out. Then what we find out, Tiffany and Hannah have a final two. I, when I heard this, I was like, I need to see Roger's face. I need to know what he thinks. Nothing could make you happier than finding out those two have a final two, yes? Yeah, no, it, it, it's good. Uh... Uh, I, I mean, Hannah's good, but she's not Tiffany good. And like now that Tiffany is like mentoring her in mm-hmm. a way, okay. like I think this would be good for for the three of them. And all three of them are like my those are my top three, right? Those are the ones yes. that I want. So yeah, like I think it's good for my three and and uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's good. It helps everybody out. Sarah Beth and Kylan have a final two. Right. And their final two is a problem because it's very obvious to the house. <laughs> very obvious. So it's like, eh. Then we find out Tiffany has been game planning. Game planning strong. She's She's got a plan to get the cookout to the final six. She's like, jury's going to be 11. We got to pair off with a pawn each. Anytime we put one of those people up with their pawn, we're good. And she runs them down. She's Hannah's got Derek X. Xavier's got Christian, which I didn't really. Did you know Xavier and Christian were that tight? No, no. Yeah. Then Tiffany says no. she's got Claire. Some of these matchups were really confusing to me because I was like, "Wait, really?" Like, yeah. And also, I didn't. I uh, I didn't like what what she did here with this. Like, I feel like you're making yourself too much of a strategic target now. Now she's coming up with these like fucking like elaborate strategy moves it's like you don't like you don't really need to do that right now My i question, feel like maybe you could have told a few a few of them but not yeah. at the whole alliance like right but my question to you is is that um is that a sign of how in the cookout she is and how much trust she's got in those yeah, other people yeah right yeah maybe and for the most part they all seem in they all seem yeah. in, except uh, Number one. I might be jumping around a little bit. There's some other stuff I want to bring up, but except for Aza. Aza oh, I was actually going to say Derek F. You think Derek F is on the fringes? Talk I about think, that first. Go I think I first. think those two are on the fringes, to be Both honest. But okay. I think I think I think Derek is five, is uh, six, and Aza is five uh, in that six. Um, yeah, and Derek F seems to also have this like attitude, like he doesn't give a fuck mm-hmm. about, you know, like the game in a, in a sense. He also like speaks out a lot um, when he maybe he shouldn't, like like uh, with Whitney and her workout gear, like basically like calling her out for wearing that shirt. Like maybe he did it because he knew that she was on the way out, but it, like everybody else was like could see it like why well, you got to be so aggressive with her about it mm. <laughs> but um yeah no i think i think he's last on that uh hierarchy okay um so yeah. just just for the people 
Um, Hannah has Derek X. Xavier has Christian. Tiffany has Claire. Aza has Brittany. Kylan and Sarah Beth. And then Tiffany says Derek F. doesn't need anybody because they got enough people. Um, in terms of the I, I get proof again, that, you know, <laughs> he's just kind of why out we need the, why we need the guy in last to have somebody or anything. Like Votes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, someone's going to be at the bottom of the six, right? Yeah. Someone. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. in terms of him talking about Whitney's clothes, all I can say is we, we're not in the house. Um, it feels uncomfortable to be a man telling a woman what she can and can't wear. Yeah. But, but yeah. we don't know what their relationship is. Whitney didn't seem bothered by it. They asked the people in the house, everybody, all the ladies they asked, and you could only ask Hannah, or not Hannah, you could only ask Alyssa. Asking Sarah Beth right. if she's going to wear that sports bra is, is ridiculous because the answer right. is no, right. right? So then they take us away from all of the stuff of uh, leading us into the episode, and they show us some live footage, right? They're all sitting in right. the, 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 the room, and um, Hannah is wearing workout gear and Whitney right. is wearing a goddamn not, beautiful it, dress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. She knows. So two things she knows. she knows. And obviously endurance comp head of household. Right. Uh, right. You, you would think at some point they would try to switch this up, but they refuse. Like the thing is, you know, the endurance comp's not ending tonight. Give the person on the block a couple minutes to change into some damn sweats but let them both get dressed, you know, because in yeah, a week, yeah. in a week where it's already not that good, you're also going to steal the eviction from us. But first, yeah. you're going to show us yeah. all this stuff from that day, trying to convince us that it could be anybody. A little fun part. Uh, Christian is trying to learn Derek F's walk. Oh, yeah. remember that walk in the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Chris, Christian, yeah. full send. Christian is giving it everything he's got. And he yeah. doesn't have enough. <laughs> Whatever no. it is he's got, he doesn't have enough. Xavier they kept making fun of his elbows, and I was like, "What's wrong with his elbows? Like, am I walking wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> um, but then Xavier comes in the room, stomp, stomps, stomps it out, <laughs> kills it immediately, and then leaves. So it's like, "Hey, Christian, right. you should just pack it in. Just leave it alone. You got the hairstyles." Yeah. Focus on the hairstyles and the backflips and leave the walking to the brothers, I guess. I, I don't know. Right. Um, but Aza lets us know a little later, I think she was talking to Tiffany, that she does not trust Hannah. Does not trust her. She thought that the cookout was five plus Hannah, <laughs> which, <laughs> which was original. That was the original for real. Right. Right. And what I have to say about that is I think Aza needs to go. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. she needs to go. She's getting, yeah. She's getting a little emotional, a little, um, what's the word? Um, reckless. Like wild. Yeah. Reckless. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Reckless is perfect word. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was not fun. Yeah. Then we get to the eviction. Hannah and Derek just holding hands during the eviction ceremony. No, I, I don't notice that. Yes, yes. Just holding hands, just canoodling up in the corner. I know, canoodling away. Uh, I did not like it. Um, the vote comes down. I did, I did, I did notice later in the episode, uh, there was like an ar arm grabbing, and I'm yeah. like, why is he she still holding on to his hand arm? Po post eviction, <laughs> they went back to it post eviction. They started yeah, yeah. doing all the stuff again. So the vote yeah. comes down. The vote is 10 and, and if, Sorry. Or, go ahead. And if we see if, if we see it, they the, the house guests must see it, right? It's happening. Like, it's happening all day. It's got to yeah. be happening all day yeah. long. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Not good. Yeah. All right. Go on. Yeah. So the vote comes down. It's 10-0. Whitney's going home. Derek F. Sadly, to evotes Whitney. 
and <laughs> Julie points Ju- it out. Julie <laughs> is like, all right, dude, this is week four. You've done it again. Like, I don't understand how. I- I'm going to go on a rant here, I-, I think. I feel a rant coming on. How can you fuck this up this many times? <laughs> like, I, def- I defend you every week so far, Derek. Okay? Every- oh, maybe he got nervous. and Maybe he forgot, okay? And then the third time was like, um... I'm like, all right, something's fishy here. But then the fourth time, like, what <laughs> happened? What happened to this guy? And like, he looked genuinely confused. Like, what did I say wrong? He had this look on his face. Like, what did I do wrong? You said the fucking thing wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> someone needs to tell him. Like, I wonder if they're telling him in between episodes. Like, hey, Derek, make sure this week you say I vote to evict so and so. This guy with the e vote. What is a vote? I I sadly a vote. Doesn't he even, <sighs> like it's the worst grammar? Oh, this guy. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, like when when he did it, I uh, that was the thing that stood out. I'm like this motherfucker again. <laughs> That's it. I had it. <laughs> I had it. This even Julie was annoyed. She's like. You mean vote to evict, right? <laughs> and, and he's like, uh, y- yeah. <laughs> like, this like, is the, the first deal? time he's hearing of this. Yeah. yeah. He, it, either someone, either production is not telling him and he's generally confused, or like he literally forgets every week. Because or, 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 how? He's, or he's in on it. Or he's, or in he's on doing it. it yeah. And he, and, yeah. And it goes with it. Like, he's not, he's, uh, his not not give a fuck attitude that he has right now. Like exactly. I don't even give. I don't think he cares that he's on a show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he cares he's on a show. Like oh. I, no, it's funny. Whitney heads outside um, to talk to Julie. So Julie asks her what what she thinks happened. Um, and the first thing is Whitney says, "I'm very." I'm a very strong woman and I, I like to uplift women. So maybe the boys yeah. got scared that there was a women's alliance, right? And we know that her right. and Brent, her and Brent were fighting all the time. So maybe right. that's right. kind of where that whole thing came from. Right. Then Whitney finds out that everybody's playing a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because- and then she's like, Oh, I knew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew there was a major alliance. That I, I wasn't figured no, something I was going on. Eight, <laughs> eight person alliance. There are. Th- I, okay. If I, thir- if, hold on, if hold I on, ever play on, the hold game, on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Eight yeah. person alliance. There are only 13 people in the house, and you didn't know it right. existed. Right. Not good. Right. Not good. No. But yeah, if you were like, playing if, a game. If I ever get to play the game, like. I, dude, I'm going to be so humble. Like, there's no way I'm going to be as cocky as they've all been. I'm going to be like, oh, there's a major alliance. Like, shit. Like, like I got played. Like, it's my fault. Like, like, I'm I'm not going to be like, oh, I I knew it. Like, no, like, you didn't know, or else you'd still be there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I I had my little alliance. Call me on it if I ever play the game. Call me on it. (laughs) Well, I will. (laughs) I had my little alliance of four. I thought we were good. We didn't know there was an alliance of eight. Now I'm sitting here talking to you, Julie. (laughs) I didn't know. I didn't know. (laughs) You know what I mean? I didn't know. I got played. Yeah, I got got. Like, Uh, yeah. Then we get to the goodbye messages. Aza has They were all pretty good, right? Except Aza's. I mean... Aza, I mean, had to let the lady know you were standing between me and my man. I mean, yeah, and, and her reaction to that was like, "Oh, I didn't even know, or else I wouldn't have done that." Yeah, because <laughs> I'm not taking any of this that seriously. Like, this is right. A, I'm not going to marry yeah. Xavier in the house. So if you want him, right. fine, I'll stop flirting with him. No big yeah. deal. Yeah. Um, but Aza has to go. Um, they start up the endurance comp. We'll see how it turns out. Like Claire yeah. is probably not going to win either because she doesn't need to. Uh, I didn't think about. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think about her. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You're right. She, 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 she should have just jumped right off. Yeah. Like right. Like I think I would have done that. I would have just like right. See you later, guys. Like <laughs> yeah. Don't do, if if you're strong enough to win, don't show them you're strong right. enough to win. Right. Right. Because you Why don't get need- your hands dirty. Yeah, why get right. why get the power? Yeah. You don't need it, right? Right. But you don't need it. We will find out. Um, yes. and it should be fun. Hopefully, now that they've dissolved the teams, everybody for the most part is kind of working as individuals. Um, it'll spice the game right. up a little bit. 
and they're at 12 so now. Yeah. So one more person will go home. And then next week, right? Not, yeah, the following week, then we've got all our jury members. All the yeah. people that so we're 11, see. 11 is the number. Yeah. So yeah. then we got, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or so, they go crazy and they go with a seven person jury, which. Yeah, Claire is laughing to the bank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine you're Claire and you get three yeah, they, more weeks of safety. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to do that. Yeah, no. you're probably right. It's yeah, probably it's yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be eleven. Okay. Once again, thank you for joining us on It's in the Details, the Big Brother edition. As always, please remember to share, like, subscribe, rate, review, comment if you are so inclined. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. I am i 6 man on everything. If you're looking for me, you can find me there. All right, y'all. Take care. Peace. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week.